Curves are used throughout Maya for a number of different applications. They're primarily used to support the creation and manipulation of geometry. Curves themselves are not renderable. What this means is that we can see them here in the viewport, but we cannot include them into a finished frame of animation. Let's take a look at some ways that curves are being used in Maya. Here, we have a curve that has been attached to a hair system. So in this example, we're using curves to manipulate hair. If I play the simulation, you can see how the curve deforms automatically as gravity is being applied to it through the hair system itself. We also use curves to help us generate surfaces. Here, we have multiple curves already drawn out. We can select these curves in a particular order and generate a surface across them. Here, we're going to use Loft in order to generate that surface. We'll hit 5 to go to a shading mode, and we can now see the surface that has been created as a result of lofting across multiple curves. We can also use curves as a guide. Here we have a piece of geometry, or just a sphere, and we have a separate curve drawn out in our world. We can take our geometry and actually snap the surface to the curve and move the surface along that curve. I'll choose Snap to Curve, and with my middle mouse button, drag on the curve itself. And as I drag along, my surface follows the curve. We can also project curves onto a surface. Here we have a curve, a circle, and we'll project that onto our sphere. I'll select both objects and choose Edit NURBS, Project Curve on Surface. We'll open the options, and there you can see it says Project Along Active View. So I'll just change my view so I'm looking down the center of my two selected objects, and I'll choose Project. And that will project a curve onto that surface. I get a separate manipulator that I can then move that curve. This is useful for creating another surface off of an existing surface based upon the curve. So from here, I could select this curve and then this curve and do a loft between the two. The resulting surface would be form-fitted to my sphere based upon the curve that has been projected. Maya allows us to create different types of curves from scratch. If I choose Create, and scroll down, we have our CV Curve Tool and our EP Curve Tool. These essentially are the same. Let's take a look. I'll click on CV Curve Tool. Let's turn the grid on. And I'll just click with the left mouse button to draw out points that will eventually form my curve. When I'm done, I'll hit Enter to complete the curve. I'll right mouse click, bringing up the marking menu, and go to Control Vertex. This displays all of the control vertices, or CVs, along my curve. When I drew the curve, I was using the CV Curve tool, which means that when I drew it out, I was actually dropping down control vertices in order to create the curve itself. Notice my control vertices do not actually sit on the curve itself. We can grab them and manipulate the curve to change its shape. The points themselves that sit on the curve are called edit points or EPs. I can select these as well, just like control vertices or CVs, and manipulate them in the same manner. The major difference though is that these sit on the surface where control vertices do not. Either one allows me to do the same exact function as far as manipulating my curve. They do, however, manipulate the curve slightly differently since one does sit on the curve and the other sits off. Same thing goes for creating our two curves here. So when I choose a CV curve tool or the EP curve tool, I will end up creating the exact same curve but using different points in order to generate that curve. So here, if I do the EP curve tool, Wherever I drop a point, the curve will go directly through that EP point that I'm drawing. We'll hit Enter to complete it. And just like with my other curve, if I right-click and go to my marking menu, I can choose Control Vertex 
and have the same control vertices that sit off of the curve. Control vertices and EPs are just ways to manipulate our curves. In essence, we still have the same identical type of curve. Now Maya does offer other types of curves. And let's clear our screen here. And then we'll create a Bezier curve. Bezier curves are different. We create them in the same manner. With Bezier curves, we still draw control vertices, but we get an extra handle that we can pull out and manipulate to change the angle of the curve itself. These offer a little bit more flexibility in generating your curve, but can be a little bit harder to handle since you have a lot of extra options. We also have the ability to use the Pencil Curve tool, which will create a standard curve just like the CV and EP curve tool, but this allows us to freely draw a curve in any shape that we desire. This is good if we're tracing another object or tracing a surface or even trying to trace an image. After I draw and I let up on the left mouse button, my curve will be generated. If I use my marking menu, you can see I can still go to my control vertex and manipulate this curve just as we did with the other types. We can also choose to create an arc. Maya offers two different types of arcs. We have the three-point circular arc or the two-point. We'll just use the three-point as our example. And with the three-point circular arc, we click to generate three points. Once that third point is dropped, we get a curve in the shape of an arc. We can further manipulate this by using the middle mouse button to change the degree of that arc or its size. And again, we're doing this by using the middle mouse button and clicking on any one of the blue boxes. The two-point arc is identical to the three-point with the exception of we only have the two outer points and not a middle point in order to alter the shape of our arc.